ex Niger Delta militants have stormed the National Assembly to demand the reinstatement of over 6,000 beneficiaries that were purportedly delisted from Presidential Amnesty Program (PAP) and payment of outstanding monthly allowances. The protesting ex-militant also called for the immediate sack of the coordinator of PAP, Major General Barry Tarie, in Duomo, accusing him of being incompetent to handle the presidential amnesty program. Addressing newsmen at the National Assembly gate on Tuesday, ex-militant leader and other stakeholders lamented the delisting of thousands of beneficiaries from the presidential amnesty program, PAP. We want him sack. We want him sack because it, the man does not know what he is doing. The, the his action is very barbaric and unprofessional. If the man is incompetent. He would have found out, know the reason why this program was set up and designed. But he does not even care. He doesn't even have time to even ask questions before he delisted 6,000 delegates, which is not right. So we want him, we want him sack right now and restore all our. All, all the delisted beneficiaries and get them paid. Yes, we have reached out to the federal government in different platforms. We have made publications. We have made a, a press conference in different areas. In Bayasa, in River State, even in Delta, up to no avail. So if you are living here, we are going to the office. We are going to lock that office until all our demands are, are be given. They said most of the ex agitators delisted from the program had not been deployed for training brought us here, we are here to simply drop a simple message to the National House of Assembly of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because we are federated people in the Niger Delta region. Recently, Barry Tarie Idiomi has been appointed and he has deleted so many people into the program illegally. That decision is condemned totally in, and uh, we also want the National House of Assembly to call him to order if his if his, if his capacity cannot carry that office he should be sacked immediately we want him to sack we want the federal government to sack him and now now the niger Delta region is in tension the the asian dictators arise angrily and they can destroy right now and they want to drop their simple message but the federal government to take immediate action to this issue to address it properly. But it means not we does not have the detention of the Niger Delta region. And the youth does not want to go back to Creek. They don't want to vandalize. They don't want to kidnap. And they want peace. Because President Musa Yaradu wanted peace to the Niger Delta region. And we don't want this peace to go in vain. That is why we are here to represent the ex agitators. All what are they done in that program? All you should restate them immediately. All the principles, all the agreements that we have made with the federal government have, have not done. After the disarmament, so many people that have promised to be trained in the program have not been trained. They are still in the creek. They are still in the creek. Those people that are taken to school have not been empowered. No one no job placement. And that idea we condemn, we condemn it. It is it, it is behind this. It is very barbaric. And that ideology cannot be accepted by us. Yes. And we want the federal government to know. Because we are we our our anger is beginning to arise now. And we want them to know. And we want to address this issue. We want them to address this issue. Let them take it immediately. And the, the National Assembly should, should, should go about it immediately. That is why we are here. That is why we are here, gentlemen of this, of this, of this country. I want the peace of this country. The Niger Delta region want the peace of this country. I want the peace to continue the Niger Delta. Our parents does not enjoy the goodness and the governance of, of this country. And we want our youth to enjoy the peace. We don't want the peace to be tapped. We don't want the peace to be destroyed. And that is why we are here. They, however, urged President Muhammadu Buhari, the National Assembly, to call the interim administrator of the Presidential Amnesty Program, Major General Idumu, retired to order and reinstate those affected. And we have no issue with the federal government because they give us, they grant us amnesty and all our benefits that has been stated when this program was being signed has not been given to us. We have our allowance. We have the, the federal government agreed to build us for us in any part of the 
country. It has not been done. That is why they are paying 150,000 as, as allowance. It has not been given to us. There are so many things that we are supposed to entitle to, which they are, they are shocking on their own. So we call on the Mr. President to call the interim administrator to restate back the, the 6,000. 554 people that he has delisted from the program, he should restore them and pay them immediately. And if they did not pay us, we are not living in Abuja. Until we, 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 we are just paid and everybody is being, everybody is being restated back immediately. Recall the late president tomorrow, Mosaya Adua, declared the presidential amnesty for Niger Delta agitators on June 25, 2009. Page TV News, Abuja. <laughs> Oh, my God.